Today, I'm going to walk you through the process of creating your first Drupal module. And of course, we're going to use the Hello World format because that's just the, the easiest thing to do. So first of all, what we're going to do is find an established contributed module. And this is different than using the modules that come bundled with the Drupal core. Um, if we use those, there are certain aspects of it that we have to change or recreate um, simply because they work just a little differently than contributed modules. So we're going to go find an established contributed module to start out with. Then we're going to copy it. I'm going to rename all of the files that have to do with that module. So um, if the original module was module 1, we'll rename it to module 2. And uh, we'll rename all of the function names in it that have to do with that module. And then we're going to gut it. We're going to suck everything out of it so that we have an empty shell. And finally, we're going to install the module and test it out to make sure it works. So this begs the question, why not just start from scratch? Why not build a module starting with, with uh, blank pages? The main reason is that it's more educational to, to work through other people's code and take a look at it as you create your module. Uh, and it's more fun, too. You, you, learn, you learn more about what people do, and you get to see examples of usages of uh, different different functions and different ways to use Drupal that you wouldn't have been exposed to otherwise. And secondly, and still pretty important, is that uh, if you start from scratch, uh, you might forget a couple things. And that th those points of uh, those missing pieces of information are going to be harder to identify than if you have just something like a duplicate function, because those things will throw an error and lead you to the right line number in the file. Uh, whereas if you're just starting from scratch and you're missing a function or a parameter or something like that, that can be hard to pinpoint. So to start out with, uh, we're going to find an established contributed module. In my case, <clears throat> I'm going to use the Masquerade module by Ara Miles. Uh, which is a, a well-established module, pretty simple, that allows people to log in as other types of other users inside their Drupal install. So every module... Thank you for watching this preview from buildamodule.com. On our website, we offer a number of free videos, as well as several others that are available for a reasonable price. Come check us out.